Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do the sandwich technique with clear dip powder and regular nail polish. So let's get started. So all you're gonna need is a polish color of your choice, your clear dip powder, whatever your favorite dip powder liquids are, your base, your activator, your buffer block, your file, and your dusting brush. When I do this on myself, I do this part with the clear dip, but since I'm doing it against the clear swatch, I thought I would do it in this um, sheer pink dip powder just so you guys could see. I'm going to do two dips of this. I'm just doing thin layers of my base and then dipping it into my powder and then dusting off and applying another layer of base and dipping it back in. But I just wanted to take a second and mention to you guys that I am planning a fall giveaway for when we reach 100 subscribers. Um, so if you would like to be eligible for the giveaway, please make sure you're subscribed and share this video. And as soon as we reach 100 subscribers, I will do the giveaway video and show you guys all the powders that you could win. So now I'm just going in with my second coat of base. And dipping into the powder. I'm just gonna give that a second just to sink in. At this point you would go over and do all of your other nails. And then I'm just going to dust off the excess powder. And then I'm going to go in with two coats of my activator. I really actually love this technique. Um, when I first started using dip powder, to be 100% honest, I was getting the Kiss brand dip powder. It only came with like the white tips and the clear tips and the clear dip. Um, so I started doing it this way like a year ago before I had all the dip powder colors that I do now. It's it's a good trick to have if you have you have an event or something and you don't have the dip powder color that you want and you have a ton of nail polish if you're anything like me you probably have more polish than you have dip powders <laughs> so I'm using my OPI my Chihuahua Bites color this is one of my favorite favorite colors actually so I've let my activator sit and dry for about two minutes and now I'm just going to file and buff the surface till it's nice and smooth that's really the key point with this is to make sure that this step right here, the nail is nice and smooth. So when you apply that polish, you don't have any ridges or craters or anything in there. So you're just going to buff until it's completely smooth. This is actually really, really, really simple to do too. So now I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel with a little bit of alcohol and just clean the dust off. When I do this on myself, I would just go wash my hands, just water and dry them really well. And now you just paint your nails as normal. So I'm just going to do one coat of this color It's such a pretty, like, corally orange color. OPI is my favorite brand of nail polish. I have all of them. <laughs> it is important to let all these layers dry in between. I do two layers of polish if you're doing a more sheer or nude um, color. You could do three coats. 
However you paint your nails works just fine. So I've done my first coat of polish and I'm going to let that dry. Okay, and now that that has dried for a couple minutes, we're gonna go back in and do our second coat. This is also kind of neat too, because if you're doing dip and you wanna do like a gradient nail, but you're worried about being able to get it right with the dip powder, you could do it like this with the polish and do the polish on the sponge and dab it on, do the gradient. <clears throat> All right, so now our second coat has dried and now I'm just going to open up my clear And I'm going to take my base and apply a thin layer over top of our polished nail. You do wanna make sure you cover the whole nail. And I do cap my edge, my free edge, when I'm doing this sandwich technique want to make sure you wash your wash you wipe your brush off really well now I'm just going to dip into the clear I'm running low on clear as you can see I ordered more I'm just waiting for it to come in all right so we've just did our final dip in clear and I'm just going to wipe off my blood Blech. I have no words today. I, I don't know my words today. I'm just going to wipe off my brush really well. And I'm just giving that powder a minute or so to sink in. And then I'm going to brush off the excess. And then I will do two layers of activator, two coats of activator. <clears throat> Wiping off my brush, giving that a couple seconds. And then I will apply the second coat of activator. And then you just let that sit for about two minutes until you can click on the nail and hear that lovely clicking sound that we all love. And then we just file and shape and buff it up. For this, I am using a gel top coat. You can use any regular clear polish top coat Whatever your favorite top coat is, you could even do a matte top coat. If there are any other videos or new trends or nail art that you would like to see me do, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe and share this video for the upcoming giveaway that we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to... Buff up my nail, making sure that it's really nice and smooth so we don't get any ridges or anything when we apply the top coat. You could e-file this or use your regular file, whatever you like to use to smooth it out. I like to just use a buffer when I do this technique, since you're only doing the polish and then one layer of clear, I don't really find that you get a whole lot of ridges or bumps or anything in there. So now I'm just going to wipe it off with paper towel with a little bit of alcohol and just get that extra dust off. 
and now we are all ready to top coat. Just going to set up my lamp. And I am using um, Rebel Nails Tack Free Gel Top Coat. I'm just going to apply it like you would apply all your top coats. And then I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. I like to let um, all mine kind of sit for a couple seconds just so the gel levels itself out. Okay, it's been 30 seconds and our nail is all nice and cured and that is the finished results. And I found that this technique lasts me just as long as regular dip powder. I've had them on for three weeks before. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.